boys and girls. Today in writing, we are going to go back to the facts that we circled from the article of This Plant Stinks, and we're going to fill in our informational writing graph, the one that was also included, included in the Scholastic News with the article. So just to review what we did yesterday, we went through and we read this article on Scholastic News of This Plant Stinks, and then we went through and we circled the facts from the article. And we noticed that there were a lot of facts, but there were also a lot of opinion statements. Just to remind you that a fact statement is something that can be proven that people can't really argue with you on. And it doesn't really have words like stinky and gross. And this article had a lot of those words. So today I'm going to show you how to write an informational, or we're really just brainstorming right now, but for our um, informational piece. But I'm going to show you how you can write one using just the facts. And then I'm also going to show you how you can include some of those opinion statements and the way that we would word it. So what I did is I went back from my the article where I circled the facts and remember that we went through and we just, as we read it, we circled some of the facts that we wanted to uh, include on our brainstorm. So I wanna show you how I took the facts from the article and build in my informational writing graph. So let me get to my first one that I did was of sentences that are actually about the plants being the world's grossest uh, plants. So what I did is for my topic sentence, I wrote, there are three plants that many people believe are the grossest in the world. And so because that is my topic sentence, I need to make sure that every fact that I include on that sheet is a detail of how the plant is truly what people believe would be a gross plant. So I need to focus on the topic sentence and make sure that all of my follow-up facts go along with that topic sentence. So I focused on the three plants from the article and again, I'm, I'm trying to keep my focus on the fact that the plants are the world's grossest. So my fact number one was about the Rafflesia plant. And I actually put that some people believe the Rafflesia plant smells like rotten meat. And that's how I included that opinion. Instead of me just saying that it smelled like rotten meat, I put that some people believe that. Because remember, opinions are people's uh, feelings and what they think. And so by me putting that some people believe that or some people think that, that makes it more of a factual statement because I am just telling you that that's what some people do. I'm not, I'm not actually saying that it is the plant smells like rotten meat. I'm telling you that people believe that. And then I put some more facts about it that some insects eat rotten meat so they crawl around on the flower to take a closer look. Then I went on to fact number two and again trying to keep my focus on rotten um, or gross plants. I went on to the Sierra plant, the second one, and it was under the heading of slimy plants but the real name for that plant is the Sierra mix. So the Sierra Mix corn plant has gooey red roots. The roots are covered in a thick slime and grow in the air. Many people think these roots look like gooey red fingers. So again, I'm trying to keep my focus on how people believe these are three of the grossest plants in the world. And then my third fact was about the picture plant, and that is under the heading of toilet plant. And so going right along with how people believe these are gross plants, I told about the gross parts of the pitcher plant. I put pitcher plants grow in places where they can't get enough nutrients from the soil. It is shaped like a big cup, so animals will sit on its edge to lick the nectar from the plant. 
Sometimes the animals will poop into the plant and the plant breaks down the poop and gets plenty of nutrients. So that's how I was able to um, include facts about how these could be the world's grossest plants. If I want to write a paper on just facts and not necessarily on how these plants are considered to be gross, I'm going to show you another example. So here is an example of how I just am telling you about some facts about these three types of plants. And I, my topic sentence on this paper would be, there are many types of plants. And that way I don't have to necessarily focus on the gross parts of it. And in fact, I don't want to tell you about the gross parts. I'm just telling you about these three types of plants. Fact one, one type of plant is called the Rafflesia. It is big, red, and bumpy. Some insects like to crawl around on the flower and get covered in pollen. Then they carry away the pollen to other Rafflesia plants. This helps those plants make new seeds. So you can see I just told facts about the Rafflesia plant. I didn't tell you anything about the gross parts of it or what some people think it smells like. Just that I um, was just simply sticking to the facts about that plant. The parts that people just really can't argue with you about. Then I went on to the second plant, the Sierra Mix corn plant, and I told that it had roots that grow out of the plant instead of in the soil. The roots are covered in a thick mucus. The mucus pulls the nutrients out of the air so the plant can grow, for the plant to grow healthy. Let me change it. So out of the air for the plant to grow healthy and strong. And again, just told facts about this year a mix. And then fact three is just about the picture plant. And I just told the facts about that. Didn't tell about anything about the gross parts of it. I just put that the last plant is called a pitcher plant. They are shaped like a big cup. Animals like to sit on its edge to lick the nectar from the plant. So that's two different ways that you can pull facts from the article. But keep in mind that what's very important is whatever topic sentence you use, your facts need to focus on that topic sentence. So this article focuses on just that there's three types of plants and this article topic sentence focuses on the fact that many people believe these three types of plants are gross plants. So my facts need to focus on the gross parts of those plants or what people believe that. And that's really all you need to do today is to decide which type of uh, informational story are you going to write about focusing on the gross parts of the plants or just focusing on the facts of the plants and write your topic sentence and you can work on fact number one and I would suggest that fact number one would be plant number one the sinky plant or the rafflesia plant depending on what you want to call it fact number two would focus on the slimy plant or the Sierra Mix corn plant, and fact number three would be the toilet plant or what is called the pitcher plant. And then you would just include some facts from it. Be careful not to copy exactly from the article and to put these facts in your own words. We'll come back tomorrow with a way to spice up our informational story, and I will make a, another video and how we can add some sentence starters and some transitional words, and also how to include some openings and closings for our story.